Shakira was born in Colombia in a big happy family, but when she was just two years old, her family was devastated when her half-brother was killed in a motorcycle accident. And few years later, her father's jewelry business went bankrupt and he lost everything. Shakira was sent to her uncle until her parents resolved the problem. But when she came back, everything was different. Her life flipped upside down. We lost our car, we lost our furniture, and I remember vividly the day I walked into my house and all the furniture was gone because my dad had to pay his debts. And when I saw this, I was so frustrated. I was upset with my parents because I couldn't understand how they did so poorly in business. But her parents found a way to make her happy and grateful for what she already had. They took her to a park where children lived in the dirt, hungry, with bare feet and torn clothes. She saw families and children who were much less fortunate than her. And at that moment, she made a promise that she'll work hard to become successful and one day come back to help help those kids. So when she was just 8 years old, she started writing songs and composing music. She loved dancing and singing and soon got the nickname the belly dancer girl. But her dream to become a singer was crushed when she was rejected from the school choir because her voice was too strong. She was even told that she can't sing and that she sounded like a goat. I was full of dreams. From the age of 10, I had chosen a career. I knew I wanted to be a singer, and this guy wouldn't let me in the school choir. She was devastated, but her father motivated her to never stop singing. So Shakira decided to never change the way she sings, to never try and imitate someone else. She embraced her unique voice and built an empire on it. But that empire was not built overnight. Her road to success was filled with failures. So after Shakira became an artist and tried to make it in the music industry, unfortunately her first two albums were a big failure. But she didn't care. She knew what she wanted to do and nothing was unreachable for her. So at the age of 18, she released another album that became a huge success. And Shakira kept her promise. She founded a charity organization to help poor children in Colombia. And her foundation has since expanded to many countries all over the world. So the poor girl who was once made fun of because of her voice, Today is one of the most loved and recognized artists in the world. She has won many awards and became one of the best-selling Latin artists of all time. And in 2014, Shakira was listed as the 58th most powerful woman in the world. Shakira's success story is so inspiring and motivational because she didn't allow herself to give up on her dream and become a victim of every bad thing that happened to her. Life doesn't care about your tough beginnings, your struggles and failures. You can decide not to pursue your dream. You can play the victim card. You can believe that the whole world is against you. And sometimes people will criticize you for being different. Sometimes they'll tell you that you're not good enough, that you should just give up. But don't put limitations on your dreams. If you want to be great and succeed in life, you need to only listen to your inner voice and find your passion. And when you do, leave your insecurities and fears at the door. Work hard for it every single day and don't let anyone tell you what you can or can't do.